Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. Happy hump day to you all. It is Wednesday. This is your general energy reading for Wednesday, October 30th, 2019. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And please keep in mind that time is an illusion. Energies are fluid. So this reading may be dated for the 30th, 30th of October, but that does not mean it has to resonate on that day. Yes, whenever you watch this reading and it resonates for you, that is the message for you at that time. Uh, really quick, we do have happy hour tonight. Yes. Uh, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you would like to get on the list, the floor is officially open. Uh, $25 for a single question reading. 10 spaces maximum. Yes. Uh, if you would like to get on the list, you can send payment to paypal.me slash divine conversations. Send $25. Make sure to put your question in, your dis in the notes of the... Um, of the payment. That way it makes it easier and quicker so that I can just get right to your question. I don't have to wait for you to like type it into the chat or anything like that. Also keep in mind that we will be having our pre-happy hour pre-game party, pre-game show <laughs> on Instagram live where I will be doing a collective energy check-in prior to actually getting into the personal readings here on YouTube. Yes? Okay, I think that's it. So let's get to it. Um, so first of all, as I was connecting with the collective this morning, well, first of all, I'm getting, I don't know why I'm feeling compelled to tell you this, but I, I'm getting a little bit of a late start this morning, um, only because I woke up at like three in the morning today, which whatever is fairly normal, but then I couldn't fall back asleep. Like I literally, I laid there for damn near two hours before I was finally able to be lulled back to sleep by the beautiful voice of Soul Source Tarot. Um, I love the sound of her voice, but I was just listening to some of her readings and eventually that that rocked me by, right back to sleep, which was fantastic. But I normally start like to start recording at like 7.30 in the morning. It's 8.02. And actually, I didn't even realize that I started exact like right on right at eight o'clock and I didn't even realize it until I, I looked at the time as I had already started which I thought was cool but yeah a little bit of a later start I don't know maybe you guys have experienced the same thing um yeah woke up at three in the morning and couldn't go back to sleep anyway here we go as I was connecting with the collective today the color the first color that I saw was purple um, and then if you remember for the last few weeks or maybe like, yeah, for the last few weeks, the, the color had been orange for a while. Um, and that was us feeling into our emotions, going through a bit of a purgy episode, um, you know, releasing, clearing and releasing a lot of stuff that, um, has been burdening us for a while, um, deepening our purge, all that. Um, but today, now, as I'm connecting with the collective, the color is purple. And what I'm getting with that is um, putting our wisdom to use. Uh, we were in an area, in an energy where we were kind of integrating some stuff and, like I said, purging. But now we're putting that wisdom into use here, okay? So then for our pre-shuffle, what we have is we have the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups has been coming out a lot lately. Um... I'm sorry it's not brighter, but it's also really kind of cloudy and overcast, so I'm not getting much sunlight from my window, but that's okay. We'll make do. Um, and what I'm getting this is, what I'm hearing with this is moving forward with your heart's desire in some way, shape, or form, okay? Overall energy is the Eight of Cups with, sorry it's not brighter, you guys, but with the Eight of Cups with the Emperor here, all right? Um... So there's definitely an energy of having taken your power back, maybe being in the process of taking your power back, walking away from things that no longer serve you. This definitely is coming from a masculine point of view. Now you could, we, talk, we could be talking about an individual who resonates more with masculine energy in the external, or we could be talking about your inner masculine energy. I really do feel like it's both because um, say we're talking about the counterparts, right? 
say or I'm, I'm laughing because my one of my chapsticks fell and they're on the floor it's on the floor over there and i didn't think we would be able to see it on camera but look there it is right there you see that little orange ball right there <laughs> that's chapstick anyway don't mind me i'm being silly um this is definitely coming from a masculine point of view whether it's a, a person that resonates more with masculine energy or it's you, you know you're more of a feminine and you are in your you've integrated more of your masculine energy i really feel like there's action being taken from a masculine point of view here now for those that are, are masculine in in energy this feels like moving wanting to move forward with a romantic gesture knight of cups but also being clear and true and honest about what your heart really wants or needs and taking action towards that okay leaving things behind you that no longer serve you in order for truth honesty integrity love maybe absolutely could be that okay yeah that's a beautiful energy so so that absolutely has to do with the the purple color that's coming through or the wisdom that's coming through because you've integrated a lot of your shadow side you've worked through a lot of the pain and the heartbreak and so now this is leaving you open and clear in order to really be ready to walk away from th no, things that no longer serve you. And in some cases, this is not a complete walking away. This is you moving forward, looking for the two cups to complete your 10 of cups, if that makes sense. I mean, it doesn't have to be that. In some cases, it's that. In some cases, it's not. In some cases, you're completely walk walking away from these cups. I mean, look at them most, I don't know if you guys can see that, but a lot of them or most of them are like chipped and cracked and disheveled. It's not like they could really hold anything any longer. And in some, in a lot of cases, this really feels like you've almost like beaten the dead horse. You've tried and tried and tried and tried and tried and it just was not working. And eventually it's like, I just can't try anymore. And so you're walking away. But here, look at this. You see that sun and that moon there? That is definitely indicative of a balance between masculine and feminine energy. Okay, so for sure there's a balance here. There's absolutely a balance here. And if you are in the process of being able to move forward with your emotions, then... And, and look, this is a daylight scene, okay? The Knight of Cups, this is like conscious awareness in daytime, right? So... Um, You've definitely been in a mode of, you know, integrating your feminine side, at least uh, getting acquainted with it if you're if you're able to move forward with your emotions. Right. And if you're more of a feminine entity, this is you having balanced your emotions and integrated your mask or integrated a great either a fully or a great deal of your inner masculine energy to be able to really move forward with confidence in what your heart is guiding you towards and that's taking action yes putting your wisdom into practice here right so that's really good energy you guys very very good energy all right so let's give this one shuffle here and then we'll see what we've got and of course of course of course the Ten of Cups lands on the top of the deck with strength at the bottom where we're facing the devil and the strength came out yesterday. It's very interesting. All right, guys. Let's see what we've got for today. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Wednesday, October 30th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, we're giving this three shuffles. One. Two. Three. 
and three. All right, so um, I feel, ooh, yeah, okay. I feel compelled to say this before we move forward. If you're more of a masculine energy, a masculine individual, again, this is not gender, <clears throat> this is just energy, right? But if you resonate more with masculine energy, there may be some sort of romantic gesture that you do want to move forward with, but I'm picking up that this is not all too practical right now. Um, there are still some things that you need to, discrepancies I, I'm hearing, that need to be cleaned up, ironed out um, in your life before you can make f f some sort of move romantically towards a counterpart or a love interest. Um, I, I'm definitely feeling an energy of priming the landscape before you make an offer to someone that you truly have very deep feelings for. Um, but that's all part of, that is all part of moving forward with <clears throat> your heart's desire or with this Knight of Cups energy um, because you just, you want things to be right. You kind of want things to be ideal before you bring some, this person into your life because you, you are very aware, you're very aware of what they deserve um, and how they even treat themselves. And so you're just trying to make sure that you can match that, which is really beautiful and romantic. Like, I love that. <laughs> I love that. Okay, let's move forward. And let's see what we've got for today. What would you like to discuss with us today, please, Spirit? For our Wednesday, October 30th, 2019. It's so interesting with this deck because the cards are double-sided, right? So they'll flip over, but that doesn't mean I should take them because there's an image on both sides. So it's just a weird sensation to have a card flip over in the deck and not <laughs> and not pick it. You know what I mean? So funny. This is the uh, the vice versa deck. Um, we're gonna go. Oh wow! There's the eight of cups again. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do more. Whoa! All right. Oh my God! Was that death? Oh shit! Ooh, okay. Well, there's our reading right there. All right. Um, overall energy, we do have the Ten of Pentacles. With, ooh, Ten of Pentacles with the Four of Cups. Okay, it wasn't death. It was actually the Tower that came out. It's reversed. You have the Eight of Cups with the Star. You have the Tower, the Ace of Cups, the Five of Wands, the Six of Swords. But all of that is reversed. And I'm hearing that I need to leave it that way. Oh, man. So, there is a, there is a family dynamic. There is a family dynamic. Ten of Pentacles. Most likely a patriarch, okay? But it also could be, um, it's, this, this could also symbolize a matriarch or a mother figure. Um, I'm saying it's most likely a patriarch just because of the gentleman that is here, this old man who kind of looks like a father. Um, but it doesn't have to, it does, you know what? It doesn't have to be. It could be a mother. It's just someone who's well established in the family, who has. Um, a great deal of power, respect, um, people look up to, people ad get advice from, whatnot, whatever. But there's a family situation here that has helped to facilitate a missed opportunity, Four of Cups, all right? And it's interesting because what's been coming out with the collective lately is that the masculine in the counterpart situation here, divine counterparts, if you want to go ahead and call it Twin Flame, you can call it a Twin Flame. It doesn't matter. Either way, the, the, the general story lately has been that the masculine has been working on removing or removing influence or cutting ties in certain ways. Not probably not completely cutting ties, but like reducing the influence that a mother figure would have in their lives. Um, <laughs> okay, so what's going on here is 
Um, we have resistance. This might be resistance from you, or this could be resistance from the family here. Um, and I do feel like we're talking to a masculine energy, um, a masculine counterpart. But we have resistance here. But as I said that, I heard resistance is futile. Okay? But this is why. Resistance is not necessarily futile because the universe is going to come in and, sh and shake some shit up for you and then you're not going to be able to resist it. I mean, we do have evidence of that in the tower here. Okay? But what I really feel like is the universe has already come in and done its work in terms of this tower energy for you. All right. It has done the work in showing you that whatever you have been pursuing, whatever you have been building, it's a hollow pursuit. OK, because you see the tower. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know if you can see this. You definitely can't see it from there. <laughs> but you see, oh, there we go. That's a little that's a little better. But you see, the tower is um, is hollow here. Right. There ain't nothing in it. Ain't no substance whatsoever, right? But this is why I really feel like resistance is futile because there is a deep desire. There is a deep desire to walk away from something. And this is coming from your inner child, okay? There's just a really deep desire. There's healing that's, ne that's needed. There is a wish like someone, I really feel like somebody is wishing on a star to find a way to get out of this, okay? What you have is the Tower, the Ace of Cups, the Six of Swords, but the Five of Wands. The Tower, the Ace of Cups, and the Six of Swords are all positive energies, to be quite honest. And this is the energy that's been influencing this great big change, okay? The Ace of Cups is a cup, uh, is an energy of self-love, right? But then... You have this five of wands energy. Somebody, I keep hearing resistance is futile, but there is resistance here or someone may be resisting, stalling, um, making a change, mainly because of this five of wands energy that is going to be explosive. This is massive. This is a massive change, all right? This is a massive change. Now, in other situations, in other circumstances, this could be reversed because somebody has already gone through this. But there are some cases in which there is resistance, but there's only resistance because somebody knows just how tumultuous, explosive this change is going to be. And I really don't feel like this is resistance from you. I feel like this is resistance from whatever this family dynamic is. But the wish here, the desire here, is, is to move away from this. It's almost, okay, so maybe, so this could be, this could be coming up, all right? This could be reversed because someone is in the process of getting ready or gearing up for some sort of tower moment, some sort of expression of self-love, and moving away from rough waters, okay? Moving from rough waters to calmer waters. Even coming out of a cocoon of oh, a, a time of healing, which you really, that's very dark. You really can't see that, but you can kind of see now how they're coming out of a cave, right? Okay. So, Sorry, I was paused for a second. I, 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 I was completely, <laughs> my train of thought was caught. Um, I'm just, I was thinking because as many of you know, Stella, hi Stella. Um, she's been providing all these beautiful crystals to, to, my, to the channel and all that. And she sent another package that I got yesterday. And that's where I actually, I got this, um, this Mercury retrograde candle, but she also sent me a little lamp and I'm thinking to myself, maybe I should like take that out and, and like, you know, set it up and everything. But that's just, I wasn't expecting to need it right now. And so I don't have it set up. So 
I'll most likely be able to use it tomorrow because we're gonna have this massive rainstorm tomorrow on Halloween, which I feel bad for all the kids that wanted to go trick-or-treating, but there's this massive storm moving across the country. It's gonna dump a bunch of snow in the Midwest, but here in the Northeast, it's just gonna be a, a ton of rain, like a really heavy rain apparently. So I'll be able to use it tomorrow, but okay, minor details. Anyway, back to the story at hand. Um, I feel like someone either there's resistance, there might be resistance. And again, resistance is futile, but I also feel like somebody is gearing up for this because it looks like they're looking with this, with this eight of cups energy, with this young child on the card, it looks like from their inner child point of view, they're looking at the family dynamic or they're looking at the dynamic in front of them, everything that they've built and succeeded, all of their success and all the failures that they've experienced, but they're looking at it through the eyes of their inner child and recognizing what it is that they want, what it is that they don't want, okay? This is definitely, definitely, definitely an energy of um, learning through the contrast, which is very much a seven of pentacles energy, but here it's an eight of cups energy because now it's time to really start making some moves, walking away from some things that no longer served you and getting back to your inner child, getting back to that space of self-love, ace of cups, okay? So now that I'm talking through this, I am feeling for some of you that this is an energy that's coming up, all right? This is all making a lot of sense, okay? It's good energy though, I just heard that. It's definitely good energy. So now we're gonna move forward and we're gonna get a little bit of clarification here. Yes, I definitely wanna look at this energy first. Definitely want to look at this energy first. Okay. Hmm. All right. Well, also. I mean, this is a general reading, so okay. I'm keeping with the generalized theme here. This Ten of Pentacles <clears throat> doesn't have to represent a family situation. Although, I really feel like if you were to really look deep down at the, underneath the surface as to what is going on for you and how this you've come to find yourself in this place, I really do feel like you'll find that there are certain ties or certain um, associations or connections that have to do with your family, what you learned as you grew up as a child that has helped to lead you to where you are now. But this Ten of Pentacles also represents a lesson learned, a lesson completed or a lesson in the process of being com completed. Okay, so now it's kind of like you're in, so you've gone through everything. It's almost like you're in a review session or like a, a uh, like a final exam almost to see what you have learned and, and to come to terms with certain, certain things before you move on to the next phase, the next lesson, okay? But all right. So this Six of Swords, the Tower, Ace of Cups, and the Five of Wands energy in reverse here. Let's get a little bit of clarity on what this is. I really do feel like we're, we're, we're talking to a masculine energy, the Divine Masculine counterpart. Maybe the masculine energy within you, but I just feel like this is way more for um, those who identify more as masculine as a whole. Now, that doesn't mean that you haven't been working on integrating your feminine side, your feminine energy, but I still, there is still, ooh, yep, wow, holy moly. Okay, overall energy you have the Ace of Swords with the Ace of Cups again the Eight of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, the Nine of Cups, I'm sorry, the Nine of Pentacles, and the High Priestess. <clears throat> wow, okay, well, you have the Ace of Swords, which is the overall energy, right? The Ace of Swords is, oh, geez. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> the Ace of Swords is um, truth, is knowledge, is understanding, is clarity, is seeing something clearly, seeing something for what it truly is, knowing what it is you want. That's what I heard. Um, and being able to communicate that, okay? Um, and what's allowing you to communicate that is this Ace of Cups energy, this cup of self-love. 
you have the ace of cups the page of pentacles and the eight of wands all right so somebody is starting a new life for themselves they're starting a new chapter in their lives and this is coming from a place of self-love here okay and um they're not afraid to well i want to say you're not afraid to talk about it um but it's not like you're you're gonna you're you're just you know shouting it from the hilltops no or from the mountaintop no that's not the case here um you're needing to communicate it to certain people there are certain people in your life that you need to be like look i i, I mean i'm going in this new direction i just heard marry me okay so maybe you maybe because this page of pentacles can be that kind of commitment energy um all right um but, so, but you're needing to communicate to certain people, most likely your family or some people that are closest to you that you've been, whom you've been living this certain lifestyle with or going through this certain situation or circumstance with, you need to communicate with them that that's, I, I just heard the words, that's not me. That's not who I am anymore, all right? That's not who I wanna be. I'm going in this direction and it's very much look at this queen of swords nine of pentacles the high priestess okay the high priestess is representing that that purple wisdom the universal wisdom the universal knowledge it's a deeper understanding the queen of swords is an energy of cutting straight to the chase no holds barred not trying to discuss it not trying to have a discussion about it it is what it is this is the direction i'm moving in and we're not we're not this is not up for debate Nine of Pentacles is autonomy, is independence. Stepping out on your own, maybe becoming single. You might be, you might be divorcing, you might be breaking up with someone, you might be, but this is, it doesn't have to be that. Because ultimately, keep in mind that I was channeling from this Ten of Pentacles that this is a family dynamic or something that has been long established, something that you've been a part of for a very long time, and now, and you actually might have been in that energy for some sort of convenience, the circumstances, stability, uh, finances, whatnot, whatever. But now you're striking out on your own. You're taking matters into your own hands. And that's, what's came th that's what came through with the emperor energy in the pre-shuffle, okay? With the eight of cups. It was the eight of cups. The emperor was on one side. I don't remember what was on the other side of the... Um, the overall energy, it doesn't matter anymore. Okay. That makes a whole lot of sense. And also, I definitely feel like at this point, I definitely feel like we're talking to uh, someone who is dominantly masculine in energetic nature because you have the Queen of Swords and the High Priestess. These are two feminine energies. And so it's coming from a place of integrated feminine integrated femininity integrated inner feminine energy that you are able to move forward in this direction here okay you're maybe you're able to take these steps to honor what it is you truly want in life all right so now let's look at this eight of cups with the star here this is i do feel like this is a very contemplative energy and i do feel like you're very someone here is very much wishing on a star because you see you have that shooting star in the background right there um, and that's so perfect. Look, you have that shooting star and then you have the star here. And this side of the card is the star with this masculine figure, that uh, apparition that is appearing in front of the woman that is represented on the star here. Now that could be more for the feminine in terms of manifesting a masculine counterpart. But this is mainly just giving me an energy of wish fulfillment. But let's get a little more, a little deeper clarity on this and see what this really is. A little more of energetic understanding of this for you here. Eight of Cups and the Star. I really just get the feeling that someone is dreaming about what it is they want to move forward with. They're saying that's enough. What do we have here? Oh, shoot. 
All right. Overall energy is the two of pentacles. Okay. But you have the queen of pentacles, the moon, and the hermit. Yep. This is definitely the feminine. <laughs> this is definitely the feminine. Now, uh, okay. All right, so what this is, because and, and this is mainly because, number one, in the, in, in the situation between counterparts, yes, divine masculine, divine feminine, whatnot, whatever, um, the feminine has been coming out as the queen of pentacles consistently for weeks now, okay? Not just on my channel, but on other, in other, for other readers too, okay? Um, and... With the hermit energy, because if you remember yesterday's yesterday's reading, the feminine was was definitely in this hermit energy. Okay, and we've definitely as the feminines here, we've definitely been in this extended hermit moment, right? Well, we're kind of shrouded in mystery right now with this moon energy. Um, maybe shrouded in darkness, but this is not a bad thing. I just feel like this is definitely an energy of the feminine being in this hermit mode here, okay? The moon can represent a dark night of the soul. I'm not getting that too much. What I'm really, I mean, that's entirely possible. You might be experiencing that, but I really don't feel like that's the main thing that the moon represents here. I just feel like the moon is representing how the feminine is kind of just in like her own little zone she's in her her hermit mode um she may be surrounded by kind of darkness but this is mainly just an energy a, a time of concealing um just you know hiding a little bit protecting herself being a little bit in isolation here but while still keeping tabs on or keeping in alignment with that which she truly desires here which would be this masculine counterpart coming forward to to meet her two of pentacles is representing just keeping the balance keeping the balance in her life here right again this is not gender specific it's very interesting now, from the masculine point of view, what I'm picking up here is that he is very much aware that the feminine is taking time away, keeping to herself, not really trying to um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not really trying to mingle, not really trying to be out there, um, doing her own thing, keeping herself grounded, making sure she stays she's she's keeping her home. Um, clear and protected keeping her space clear and protected she's really not she's like she's basically the masculine it, it, the masculine is aware that she has shrouded herself in mystery or darkness here but here's the thing about it there it, there's no reason for the masculine to be too afraid of this and actually the masculine really should be quite happy about this and I, and you might be <laughs> you might be if you're aware of a counterpart in um, in the external okay um, and you're kind of picking up on the fact that she's not really I mean this is gen this is not gender specific again this is this is energy okay but the feminine counterpart in the external to your masculine energy she's kind of like keeping herself hidden um, not trying to really be out there she's not really like actively looking or seeking any real suitors or whatnot she's embodying the energy of the moon, where are you, the masculine, are the energy of the sun. And the sun illuminates the moon, right? So once the sun starts shining, the moon will be will be illuminated. You'll see, you'll see your counterpart. And so I really feel like there's no real reason to be afraid from the masculine side because the feminine is just embodying her true nature. In a sense, she's she's shrouding herself in mystery. She's she's isolating herself. She's 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 staying true and firm in what she has grown into, which is this queen of pentacles energy, grounded, stable, secure, nurturing, loving, caring, compassionate, stern, though. Right. 
because she's re she's come to this place where she's not about to let any sort of narcissistic energies take advantage of her. Okay, she's learned that a great deal. But once the sun starts shining, the moon will become apparent. Does that make sense? I'm kind of getting picking up on that. I hope that's making sense here. And it really feels like the sun or the masculine is in the process <laughs> of getting his shine on. I mean, look at this. He's stepping out on his own. Independence, Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords was there too. You know, Page of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, there's communication that's coming. Ace of Cups, there's self-love here. There is, in fact, self-love here. The Ace of Cups came out twice, guys, okay? All right. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Look, feminine, stay patient. And honestly, I really feel like you're so, I want to say exhausted <laughs> from everything that you've been through, all the growth and all the purging and whatnot, whatever that you've been experiencing lately that you're absolutely okay with just taking a chill pill right now and just shrouding yourself in mystery and allowing, allowing things to develop, allowing yourself to grow, to heal, whatnot, whatever. This is really beautiful. Okay, so now we're gonna get the Divine's take on this. We're gonna get Spirit's take on this. And we're gonna see if there's any advice that Spirit has for us or for you in this situation here. I have fuzzies. <laughs> I love this hoodie. I got it from Target, this hoodie that I'm wearing. It's so comfy, but it does give off fuzzies. And also, I can't wear it like out when it's too cold because of the way it's knit. Air gets through it. And so like, I'd still get a little chilly, <laughs> but I love it. It's so comfortable. Okay, one more shuffle. And then we'll see what Spirit's take is on this. Any device that you have for these divine counterparts here, please, Spirit. Okay. Here we go. Six of Swords. All right. All right, so this is mainly for the masculine here. You have the Six of Swords with, oh yes, oh. Oh my God. The Six of Swords with the, with the <laughs> I can't even say it, I can't even speak. With the Hierophant in reverse. This is what you are letting go of, masculine. Looky here, looky here. Okay, so you have the counterparts in your energy, masculine, all right? You have them with the High Priestess and the Hierophant. But at this point, you are leaving the teachings or the dogma or the indoctrination of the Hierophant behind. And I just saw 3811 on the counter. So that is in fact an 1111, y'all. A boop. <laughs> but you are. You're leaving, you're, you're, you're leaving this, the dogma, the, 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 oh, the rejection, the rejection of your own self. Okay. All right. Um, you're leaving this behind and you're moving from rough waters to calmer waters. Six of swords. All right. The six of swords has come out twice in your pile, just like the ace of cups has come out twice in your pile. Here's the first instance of the six of swords. Yes. Um, and you're, you're leaving that behind in favor of the feminine teachings. Now, here's the thing. It's not like you're completely rejecting the Hierophant or what you, what you learn from the masculine side of things, okay? You're not completely rejecting that, but you're also integrating now what the feminine has to teach you with the high priestess, okay? And so now you're integrating that in with the t what you learn from the masculine side of things. Now, granted, in, in, in needing, in, or excuse me, in being able to integrate what now the high priestess has to teach you, there are some things that the Hierophant 
instilled within you that you're going to have to release, let go of, but that's really only because they're toxic in nature, all right? So that's why I'm, not, I'm saying you're not completely rejecting everything that the Hierophant had to teach you, okay? But there are some toxic elements in there that are needing to be released in order to integrate what the feminine has to offer here. So like I said, like I said, those of you that are in this energy, those masculine dominant individuals that are in this energy, you are doing this or this is being made possible because of the integration of feminine energy okay beautiful overall you have the five of pentacles and what i'm getting with this especially in terms of the hierophant being in reverse i'm getting that you're starting to understand how you have been left out in the cold how you've been leaving yourself out in the cold how you've been leaving maybe your counterpart out in the cold but also how you've been leaving others out in the cold here because there is a stark realization of how people are being forced to release parts of themselves that are natural to who they are. And that's not fair, right? You're starting to realize how what some of these elements of the Hierophant energy, society, government, institution, all that stuff, how that kind of tends to leave you out in the cold if you don't conform, okay? And you're starting to see the value in individuality. You're starting to see the value in um, who you naturally are at the core of yourself, right? Awesome. So now I do want to go to this other side of the equation and I want to speak to the feminine side here. <laughs> okay, I'm starting to understand what this actually what this means for the feminine because I was like, well, wait a second. We were talking about how the masculine is walking away from something, right? Well, it's the feminine here that's kind of sitting here wishing, waiting. It's like looking at all these eight cups that have been stacked. And it's like, okay, when is he going to walk away from all this? <laughs> now I get it. Now I see what that is. Okay. All right. But also feminine, there are a lot of things that you're needing to walk away from too. But you see, I think you've already, you mostly walked away from them. So now it's just, you're, you're looking back on that energy, like almost taking stock of what you learned here. Okay. All right. So let's get, let's, let's see what spirit's take is on this side of the equation. Now, also, also, this is, this is part of the masculine, what the masculine is going through. But then this clarification of these energies here, this is, I guess, letting the masculine know what the feminine is, where the feminine is right now. Almost like reassurance, right? Okay. So let's see. Let's get, let's get spirit's take on this side of the equation. What's your take on, what do you have, what's your advice here, please, Spirit? Okay, there's the Magician. Okay. Overall energy is the Nine of Pentacles. The Magician with Judgment. Boopity boop boop. Okay. So, yeah. Basically, answering the calling. Period. Answering the call. Hearing the call, stepping out on independence, stepping out on your own, okay? The Nine of Pentacles has come out twice here. The Nine of Pentacles came out with the clarification for the masculine side, right? So stepping out on your own, hearing the calling, and moving forward with the manifestation. Manifesting what it is you truly desire. But now also from the feminine point of view, the feminine has been in this nine of pentacles energy and she's been hearing the calling. She's been working on changing her perspective also and manifesting, being in manifestation mode. So what this, em what, I'm sorry, what this, uh, uh, funny, I wanted to say the emperor, but what the magician is representing here is um, getting into alignment, doing what it is that she needs to do in order to be in alignment with that which she wishes to manifest that what she, that what she's being called towards right but then also the masculine is doing this as well because remember i wanted i was trying to talk about the emperor but i wanted but i almost said the i'm um, see you said it i said it again 
I said it again. I was trying to talk about the magician, but I said the emperor instead. This is the masculine hearing the call and making moves. Don't ask me about timing. Don't ask spirit about timing either. It's gonna happen when it's gonna happen, all right? But just know the energies are set. The gears are rolling. I mean, you watched me pull the cards, guys, okay? <laughs> all right, awesome. So now I'm gonna close out the reading here with Oracle Guidance from the dragons. Yeah. All right. Let's see what we've got. All right. Last shuffle. And here we go. Oracle guidance, please. Dragons and spirits. What do you have for us today? Oop. Oh my. Yeah, I'm just, it's just this one. Okay. That was a lot of cards. A lot of cards. But we have Green Golden Dragon from Sirius. Brings universal knowledge to your spiritual pathway. Learn about spiritual technology. Be a transmitter of sacred knowledge. Beautiful. Okay. Oh, wait. I don't know what page that's on. This is a seventh dimensional dragon. Excellent. Gotta love that. Okay. Here we go. With inner, with, I'm sorry, within the inner planes of the star system of Sirius and its ascended aspect, Lacume, Lacume, I think it's Lacume, uh, there are renowned universities attended, to, attended by beings from the entire cosmos. In these elevated establishments, higher knowledge and spiritual technology from many universes is disseminated. These magnificent dragons work in these, work in these academies of light and carry the keys and codes of the spiritual technology of the future in their energy fields. Their mission is to spread this to all those who are ready to help bring, the new, bring in the new golden age. These dragons are cosmic travelers and, like all dragons, help us to move through the dimensions. In addition, they will guide and protect us on our interdimensional journeys between Earth and other parts of the universe, especially if we aspire to be an intergalactic master. The guidance here says, drawing this card suggests you invite these luminous beings to swirl around you, touching your chakras with the sacred, or sacred geometry of the universe. Then ask them to tune, in, to, to tune you in to any aspect of higher knowledge you can bring forward now. Sit quietly and allow this to happen. You may receive a download of information or various keys and codes you carry within your soul might light up. If so, you will become a transmitter who broadcasts sacred knowledge through, though you may not be consciously aware of it. This is a very powerful dragon, so notice subtle changes in your thoughts and attitudes. Your dreams may reveal memories from your travels with the wonderful green dragons from Sirius. Beautiful message. Okay, guys, so there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, again, I hope to see you guys later on for happy hour. If not, then I hope you have, well, hopefully you can tune in on Instagram. Yes. Um, if not, then I will see you tomorrow for our next cup of coffee. Yeah. Take care. Mwah. Bye.